Hello there. The EU Commission President, Jean-Claude Juncker, says that the UK must get its act together as the vote on Theresa May's Brexit proposals nears. Jean-Claude Juncker says that the UK must sort itself out over Brexit and that it was not for the EU to offer the solutions. In an interview with the German newspaper Welt am Sonntag, he said, I find it entirely unreasonable for parts of the British public to believe that it is for the EU alone to propose a solution for all future British problems. All I can say to that is, you and me too, mate. The trouble is that the ones looking to the EU for the answers are the Remainers, who are doing their usual pleading through puppy dog eyes at the Eurocrats, hoping that Juncker will do the white knight bit by riding to the rescue and ridding them of those pesky Brexiteer black knights and take them back to Castle EU. Juncker also said, My appeal is this, get your act together and then tell us what it is you want. Our proposed solutions have been on the table for months. Well, Brexiteers know exactly what they want, but the major problem is that they have been kept as far away from the negotiating table as Theresa May and her EU-loving UK establishment can sideline them. And as long as Theresa May's so-called deal persists, there will be no act getting together in the very near future over Brexit either, except amongst those that would frustrate it. But once her deal is consigned to the shredder, and all attempts to either extend Article 50 or revoke the Article 50 letter are stopped, then with the exit day deadline of 11pm on the 29th of March 2019 looming, we can all get our shoulders behind the Brexit wheel and make it work for us. But I would surmise that there will be many politicians in both the Commons and the Lords that would be quite happy to continue their anti-UK operations right up to and well beyond the 29th of March in the hope that they could put enough spanners in the works to be proved right and then lead the charge back into their cosy EU safe space. Any of them that starts this sort of activity would need to be identified early and removed from office by whatever means that is available at the earliest opportunity. In fact, I would like to see a new law being brought in to make sure that anyone caught acting against the true national interest faces possible imprisonment and suffers immediate ejection from public office if they hold it. We could call it a treason law. And as an aside to that one, I would also like to see the rules tightened up to ensure that anyone found guilty of an indictable crime is automatically stripped of their honours and titles and positions. The finding of guilt by a criminal court should surely be justification enough. There should be no need for further action through shady political committees. Finally, a lot is being made about the £4 million that the Department for Exiting the EU has spent on external consultants to advise on Brexit since it was set up in 2016. Official figures show this to be for services from big concerns like McKinsey, KPMG, the Boston Consulting Group and PricewaterhouseCoopers. Now, I do have to say that when a large change comes, I would expect the government to be spending on it. It would worry me if it wasn't spending money on it. As a government spokesperson said, it is standard procedure, and as Brexit is a priority, then external expertise will be brought in as appropriate. Anyway, I would reckon that what could be considered as the external expertise thus far afforded us by the EU via its many agencies has been far more expensive in fact, it has cost us billions and billions every year, just so they can sell us more of their stuff than we can sell them. What a crazy situation to get into. It's a good job we're leaving, don't you think? Actually, coming to think about it, after due consideration, I am a bit concerned about the four million quid. Surely Dexu should have spent far more than that on Brexit consultants, I'm now left wondering if they're taking it seriously enough. So, please let us all know what you think by leaving a comment below and thank you for watching. 
please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.